The Duke of Edinburgh comes to Bedford to inaugurate a new thousand-mile-an-hour wind tunnel built cooperatively by 14 of Britain's leading aircraft firms. One and three-quarter tons of air a second can be blown through the nine-foot-wide tunnel. The Duke is shown a scale model of the installation. The three other tunnels are to be built, one of them even faster than this. The tunnel is sealed, ready for action, and the aircraft experts gather to hear a few words from the Duke before he presses the button. We, we seem to have got into the habit nowadays of thinking that all our troubles are going to be solved uh, by uh, machinery of this sort. That uh, if you have a lot of science in some strange way, it's going to solve everything. Um, in fact, of course, that nothing could be further from the truth. That ultimately some poor, um, well, I won't call him a clock, but some poor chap, <laughs> of which there are a great many here, has actually got to... <laughs> has got to uh, um, scribble a shape on the back of an envelope and say, well, I think this is going to work. Now do your worst and prove that it isn't. And really, ultimately, unless we have the, 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 the men, with the imagination, the designers, and the people who back the designers, no amount of science is ever going to give us good aeroplanes. And uh, we want... Uh, Yes men as well as no men, and we want uh, people who can encourage and people who can see further than the end of their noses and further than the end of the Ministry Supply vote and nothing like that. <laughs> because that's another thing, is that, that we're all in this together. I noticed the Minister looking rather smug when... Uh, <laughs> when Mr. Burroughs said that the press is sometimes rather unkind about the aircraft industry. He's part of that industry, really well. <laughs> can't help it. If he chooses wrong, it's not the um, aircraft industry's fault. However, I think that's enough. That's enough of that. <laughs> what I'd like to do is to wish this tunnel and everybody who works here uh, a lot of success and a lot of luck. I hope they produce the results which the designers need and uh, I hope the designers produce some good stuff. And I also hope that the Aircraft Research Association will go on having good ideas like this, even though they are sometimes rather expensive. And now I'll um, see whether anything happens. The 25,000 horsepower main motor drives two 21-foot fans while technicians check the results. The whole scheme will cost one and a half million pounds, but will pay for itself by shortening the flight trials of the supersonic aircraft of the future. <laughs>